How's it going guys? So it's a really day outside. Um, I want to say the temperature right now is a little above 32 degrees because it's not snowing outside. It's raining. It did snow earlier today though. If you want to take a look. So pretty. That's the STI right there. Mm, always looking good. Smell nice stuff. Video I'm going to do today is um, an extension if you if you want to say, off of the uh, D is for drive shaft video. So the new drive shaft, it works pretty well. It doesn't click or anything, but I'm still getting a wobble at some RPM. Talked to um, a buddy of mine and he said that the likely fix was going to be a carrier bearing spacer, just because, um, you know, once you once you lift it on some vehicles, it doesn't like the dry shaft angle. So we're gonna try it. I picked up some. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. So some people call them shims. Some people call them uh, carrier bearing spacers. Uh, I got these from ADF uh, Fabrication, or I think it goes off uh, goes from Anderson Design uh, Anderson Design and Fabrication. I'll confirm that. But um, yeah, I went on the website, grabbed a three-quarter spacer because I believe that's all they sell. So something's better than nothing. And uh, we're going to try to install it again. Just one little tiny bolt gets rid of all kinds of uh, weird vibration because of angle. I already have her up on jack stands and stuff. Always make sure you use jack stands. Be safe. Don't kill yourself. And I'm going to get to work. This will be a really quick video. All right, sorry for the heavy breathing. I am very fat and out of shape. But um, so basically, all you're gonna do is pull out your uh, your carrier bolt. Um, I let mine kind of sag on the uh, exhaust. The car's not hot right now, so I don't care. So you're gonna want to set up the bolt like that. Let's see if we can focus. You're gonna want the come on. So you're gonna want the lock nut and then the washer. It's gonna go through the carrier like that, and then you're gonna put the spacer above it. So I'm gonna do that. One eternity later. Okay, so I found it easier to get this side in first and then this side. So this side goes washer, your carrier bushing, your washer, your lock washer, and then your nut. Same on the other side. Tighten these two up and you're done. All right guys, so I'm extremely happy. I just drove it around the block. Usually it'd get like a wobble around like 20 to 30 miles per hour. And I don't have one, which is awesome. Um, by the way, I did take a look and the name of the company is Anderson Design and Fabrication. I want to say the website was awdadventure.com. Again, the fix was the carrier bearing spacers. I also have a anti-wobble insert for the transmission brace. I do recommend that uh, if when you pull it into gear your car kind of like uh, stutters or kind of bucks. Uh, it does get uh, take some of that away uh, with the lift and stuff it is a little bit harder on the transmission there's going to be two options if you order it through Anderson design and fabrication there's going to be a stiffer one and a softer one uh, depends on what you use your Subaru for if you're using it for a daily driver the softer one is better so you don't feel a whole lot of road noise the stiffer one you know kind of you know pulls out a lot more of the vibration but at the drawback of having a little bit more vibration again it's personal preference that's what fixed my issues and hopefully you found this helpful thank you for watching and please like comment subscribe you know call me cute whatever you feel like peace <laughs>